In this chapter, we'll see how we can make use of the no conflict method in jQuery. So there are other JavaScript libraries as well, which makes use of dollar symbol as a function or variable name, just as jQuery does. Over here, we have taken an example called prototype. In jQuery's case, dollar is just an alias for jQuery. So all functionality is available without using dollar as well. If you need to use another JavaScript library alongside jQuery, return control of dollar back to the other library with a call to dollar dot no conflict. Old references of dollar are saved during jQuery initialization. No conflict simply restores them. If for some reason two versions of jQuery are loaded, which is not recommended, calling dollar no conflict and then having the value true from the second version will return the globally scoped jQuery variables to those of the first version. Now this technique is especially effective in conjunction with the ready method's ability to alias the jQuery object as within callback pass to ready. You can use dollar if you wish without fear of conflicts later. So over here you can see that what we have done is we have created an alias for the jQuery and we are then passing that alias over here and inside this scope we are using the dollar symbol for jQuery. Let's run this one in browser and see the result. So you can see that we are making use of the jq alias over here and inside the ready function we are able to use the dollar symbol for jQuery and the content is shown in the log itself. Start learning today. So that is how you can alias if necessary, you can free up the jQuery name as well by passing true as an argument to the method. So over here, if I pass true, in that case, creating an alias becomes mandatory. So that is how we resolve conflicts with other libraries while making use of jQuery. So that is how we resolve conflicts with other libraries when we are making use of jQuery.